before the realm of Barley the Cat, there was um, a much younger version of me that didn't post pictures of himself uh, in, in VR, <laughs> uh, but instead roleplayed on a website called Warrior Cats World. Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. This is going to be a more experimental video as I'm going to basically just be showing you guys something kind of an old internet relic, at least in my opinion. This is uh, warriorcatsworld.foramotion.com because this website was made with Foramotion. Basically back in the day, back in the heyday of the role playing and whatnot, you basically just role played through chat services and online forum websites like Foramotion. Now Foramotion basically was a service that allowed you to create your own forms and lo and behold furries got a hold of that and turned it into a role-playing service. Besides my microphone having terrible quality, I butchered what I was trying to say here. Foramotion is a website that allows you to create a form-based website. Think of it as like a really old version of Wix or Squarespace. A bunch of furries got a hold of it and started making role-playing forms using Foramotion's service. So that's what I was trying to say. Back to the video. Where most websites were just forms but spritzed up. That's kind of what Foramotion is, or at least that's how uh, what I think it is now. So this is Warrior Cat's World. This, you know, whenever someone asks me in my, one of my streams, Barley, how did you become a furry? What did, what made you become a furry? It was the warrior cats. I mean, I literally have a Scourge plushie. Is that even how you say his name? Scourge? Scourge? I, I call him Scourge, but uh, I've seen people call him Scourge as well. I had a plushie of him saved because he was one of my favorite characters in the first series. Besides Barley, which is another character in the series that I really like. This being Barley, um... Yeah, this is exactly where I got the idea for my Sona, uh, Barley the Cat. Which is why when you like Google search my name, it pops up with this guy. This is not me, but this is where I got the inspiration for my Sona and what kind of thrusted me into the fandom at a really young age. And also websites like Warrior Cast World definitely did that as well. <laughs> well let's actually look at the website. Uh, it's very old. <laughs> you can see me, I'm right here. Um, my name back then was Hawkfire. I basically just put my real name into a Warrior Cats name generator and that's what it gave me. I also really like the profile picture. You could, I mean, you know, I, 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 I could say I've always been like interested in cats. I think that especially big cats like lions and tigers, those are probably my favorite types of animals. But I love how, like, this whole, like, cat theme has stuck around since, well, whenever I decided to make this account. When did I decide to make this account? Oh my gosh, I made this account in 2011? To be honest, some of you watching <laughs> may not even have been born until then. Child. You shouldn't be watching this video. You shouldn't be watching my content. I basically made this when YouTube looked like this. Do any of you remember when YouTube looked like like this? Uh, this is a side note, this is a quick tangent, but basically when I made my very first YouTube channel, YouTube looked like this and YouTube like channels looked like this. Like I remember when you were able to change the, the way your channel looks and stuff. By the way, this is a real channel of mine. I've made this uh, uh, a couple years ago. Yeah, I made this uh, a while ago, actually. I basically just used Vidly originally to preserve my old videos on my old channel, but then Vidly started um, falling into the hands of not great people, like people who upload uh, gore compilations. I've been meaning to make a video about this website, just kind of perusing it, go overing it, go overing it, whatever. Anyways, but uh, l let's just take a look at my profile for a little bit, because this is insane. So the very first thing that I noticed was like, under my profile picture it says rank star clan cat and that's because in the roleplay my character dies probably i don't exactly remember i mean this was all from like almost 13 years ago <laughs> like 12 years ago i don't know how to do math basically a long ass time ago when i was a like a child on the internet <laughs> but i just saw that and i was like oh 
Well, you know, using Warrior Cat's logic, if a cat in a clan dies, it goes to Star Clan. So if I'm uh, a Star Clan cat, or if that's my rank, that means I, I guess I must have died. Like, I must have killed myself. <laughs> but I like how I have such a high ranking, even though I am an admin on this, by the way. I think I, after the, the years of roleplaying and the, like, over 2,000 posts that I put on this website, they finally gave me admin. <laughs> so let's continue looking at my profile a bit. So over here next to nicknames, we have uh, Hockey, Pinky, and Riff. I don't know where... I mean, I, I can understand where Hockey came from, but like, I do not understand where Pinky or Riff came up from. I... yeah. Under the signature is honestly just kind of some wholesome stuff. It's like friends that I made on the website, basically like me giving them the login to the to my account and then they just put like cute little messages on there. I'm not a part of any clan, although I I could be. I might be wrong on this because I, I genuinely don't remember, but I think I might have made myself a rogue. I think this option right here was supposed to be for a rogue clan. Maybe that's what I did, but I honestly, I could not tell you. I do not remember. Oh, and okay. Yeah. Nice. It still amazes me how there's 2,000, over 2,000 posts. I cannot believe that I, I put myself through that, man. Hawkfire saw her. No, Lurchleaf. He stumbled up to her. Ash never leaves a fight. We're lucky enough to escape alive. Someone must have called him back. You know, for being, how old was I here? Like, 13, 14? I had some pretty good punctuation. Ash sat beside a cat. Which cat? We'll never know. The cat stood tall, gray, with darker stripes lining his back. Ash, his voice cuts deep. You didn't kill Hawkfire? <gasps> so I was right. I did die. No, my lord. I, I, no. I will have to finish this. Hawkfire should have never been here. After he left, his eyes produced hot tears. <laughs> I will finish him myself. The cat stomped off. Whatever you say, my lord, Ash patted away. Who is this? How did I die? Oh, wait. I'm not dead? Hold on. There's a there's a twist in the story. Hawkfire rested in the med cat's den. And apparently I also didn't know what that cat's name is. <laughs> oh, okay. Hold on, there's more context that I didn't read. So, okay, Hawkfire is a part of Storm Clan. That's nice. But there's also Stone Clan. Okay, this is a new revelation. Hawkfire is a deputy. Okay, I thought he was like the authority of something. I was like, I remember him being the authority of something. I just didn't know what that something was. Aw, I became the leader's mate of Sky Clan somewhere along the line. <laughs> Find one more good post, or at least just one more post from me. Hi, it's me again. I'm saving you the trouble of watching me scroll on this website for about 10 minutes, looking through multiple RP forms, only to find a couple of posts made by me. Let's check out book two, I guess, you know? Let, let's let's see if, if, if Hawkfire makes an appearance in the RP thread version two. Cloudtail limped back to the clan. The foxes, they didn't leave! Hawkfire yowled. Blackpaw struggled as the fox's grip around her neck tightened. We got the one we want, the fox snarled. Pumpkin Kit, that's an interesting name. Pumpkin Kit looked over and puffed out her fur to look bigger. She charged at a fox, ready to defend her clanmates. Shadowstar yowled and charged at the fox. Leave Blackpaw alone! Pumpkin Kit bit at the fox's paw. The fox fell to the ground and Blackpaw went flying. Hot fire. Hot fire? <laughs> Hawkfire caught Blackpaw in his mouth. The fox ran away, yelping. Hot tears ran down Blackpaw's face. Her leg is broken. Hawkfire sniffed her leg. Fucking Hawkfire out here being a... a should, should be a medicine cat. Fucking can tell her leg is broken just by sniffing it. Probably just by looking at it too, TBH. If you guys did enjoy the video and you want to see more videos similar to it, definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel. This is something completely new for me, so I hope you guys do enjoy this video. But I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.